Hi guys, uh, what's on the agenda today is the fuel regulator. Uh, right here we're gonna take this guy out. It's all uh, nice and pretty, but I haven't changed the gasket yet. I just received it a few days ago, so I decided to dig into it. The part number is 207803. So uh, what I will do, I will just replace that here quickly. Take the video of me doing it, uh, shouldn't be too long. Um, I will just crack the bolts loose uh, on the... Uh, while this thing is mounted. Let's grab the socket and um, go from there. Okay, I think it's... Uh, it should be 10. This thing is loose, it's only held in place by one uh, by one bolt. I'm just gonna crack this open here, it's much easier. Let's see some of them are not even hard. Yeah. Okay, I think all of them are loose already. Oh not one more. Got this guy out, put it on the bench here, and take it apart. You know what? I'm gonna, nah, maybe, maybe that's okay. Zoom out a bit more, and um, so you can see it well. Grab the driver so it's quicker. I previously cleaned that, I just couldn't change the sealer as I didn't have it, it just came in recently, so now splitting this guy apart, maybe another, another task, let me try the blade and see if I can, if I can use the blade. So, ever so gently, in that crack to split that up. And see how it comes out. Yeah, this is going all the way now. Yep. Something is still holding it in place. Sorry. All right. Finally, it came apart. Yeah, this, uh, you know what, I'm not really sure if this membrane is really that bad. Um, but it's, uh, well, okay, that's the new guy. So, oh, and the seal doesn't look too healthy. Okay, got it, so. Like it's dirty on one side. Okay. There. Um. Yeah, I'm just trying to clean that. See what this stuff is in there. It's uh. Cause the pack didn't come with any 
and there are seals and no, that doesn't look I think what it is is, is this guy that, that sits in that in that groove and seals it um, so that would be yeah exactly this goes over that groove and that's what seals it well anyway um, you know what I think what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna clean this guy up and I clean this guy up first and then uh, I don't think I'm gonna bore you with, with cleaning it uh, and then I come back when it's uh, and show you the finished product when it's all cleaned up After blasting, uh, let's put a fresh uh, towel here so we don't contaminate those pieces. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I don't know how, you, how well, but uh, that piece is perfectly clean inside. I will try to zoom in maybe here on the table. Both pieces are pretty good. Uh, maybe put them like this so you can so the light shines in there okay take it off and zoom it in so you can see it right here see perfectly clean inside uh, I uh, blasted them with uh, glass beads uh, just to make sure everything is nice uh, I like to do this job only once I don't want to come back Okay, so here's the seal. Uh, what was underneath? This seal actually, uh, you know, it's fairly hard. And I noticed after removing it, that, that's when that spring that's inside right here, uh, this guy, that's when this guy started moving as soon as I started lifting that, that seal. So obviously this was so hard. This uh, regulated wouldn't, wouldn't do much uh, in that engine. Anyway, um, let's uh, get back to it. So. The spring goes in like that. Let me check, make sure you can see it. Yes, the spring. Okay, so this is the piece, then the spring, and there is a little cut that goes in there as well, inside on that metal piece. So we can put that plastic piece in there. I don't know how well this stays. And then the way the seal goes, it it goes with the with the button side down to the to inside. To rest on that uh, plastic cap. Let me see if that would, if that will fit. Yeah, actually, the spring just doesn't fit tight. It just sits on it. So we can, we can kind of. Uh, that's going to be interesting. How how we're going to put this on? Um, okay, this if this just sits there. Oh, I'm going to have to compress it. Uh, I just lost that guy. Yes. Okay. Well, that's uh, all right. So that goes in this side down. Unless I put this no, but then I have no guarantee if I put this guy here. I have. Oh, actually, maybe. No, sorry, the other way around. The button, the button side goes down, so it goes this way. All right. There's no specific orientation on the cap. Just gotta match the screw holes, and uh, well, there's no way of holding it. I guess it, as you can see, it fits perfectly inside and seals that parameter. Now. There was only a way of holding it there, it would be beautiful. Well, maybe I can't do it that way. Oh well, let's try. Let's give it a shot and see if we can. Well, maybe not this way. Um, okay, I kind of have to look at it here. Okay, so this sits, the plastic uh, bumper stop is still in there. So now the key is to put this guy's together 
So the seal goes right in the middle. Kind of a challenging task, gotta tell you, to make sure this sits too bad. There is there is a way of holding it from the top. Uh, I don't see this going in perfectly. Um, and it does need to go in perfectly all around. Because that uh, that seal, that's what makes the seal. If, if this gasket doesn't go, then the stuff leaks. Okay, let me, you know what, let me, let me stop for a bit. Uh, so I think I figured it out uh, how to put this in nice and straight so uh, without uh, adding anything to the mixture okay so we'll place the seal in the top part here nice and even so it rounds out put the remember the button needs to face down you need to see it put the spring on it then hold it with your finger and put the get the flat plate screwdriver and place it almost close to the like very close to the top almost at the last uh, at the last uh, ring then when you flip it around slowly uh, remember that little plastic cup still needs to sit there on the top place this inside up oh, i think i no i didn't slip everything's still in it the screwdriver slip place this inside and then once you feel the spring is resting at the bottom all you do is just remove the screwdriver and press the assembly together and Bob is your uncle everything is there all you have to do is just make sure that uh, the screw holes are aligned and uh, you can start putting the screws in I will put one or two in just to hold the assembly in place at this point because later I plan on loctiting it, so I just gotta grab the loctite and uh, and do it with the loctite. So what we are doing now is uh, just using a few uh, screws just to hold the assembly, so so that spring doesn't pop. And that's about it. Okay, we can actually use the. Okay, so. This is done now. I'm grabbing the lock tag and um, okay. Um, so what's happening now is um, just put a tiny bit. Running low, I guess. Not much is needed and you don't have to put any sealant on it since uh, those screws are not going anywhere uh, near the fuel. They are all on the outside parameter of the seal. Okay, so we got one. Uh, there should be a few more here somewhere. Uh, um, okay. Okay, what I'm gonna do guys, I'm just gonna uh, finish this up, put all the screws in as you can see, uh, Loctite, just a touch of Loctite on every single one and come back when I'm, when I'm done. Okay, so as you can see, I got it all uh, there. All I'm gonna do now is uh, everything is loctite put in by hand so far. Uh, just going over it again. Just do your cross pattern a few times. Um, don't want to go crazy with it. It's all soft. Okay. Okay. Just making sure everything is tight. Go once more. Okay. One last. Okay. I'm happy with that setup and uh, I will show you that the center of the seal of the membrane is still where it's supposed to be. 
if I have to, I will move uh, into a different, okay. <laughs> Losing orientation here. Okay, let me go underneath the light, see if it, uh, directly under the, the light, okay. Okay, focus, focus. Okay, or oh, maybe, maybe now if, yeah, I think you can see it now, that pin, if I move it anymore, I lose the light, but you can, uh, you should be able to see it right there, is that pin is right in the center, so the gasket did not move, it sits correctly where it's supposed to.